animals and visibles in other places too since i think it's about time to start wait did you where's uh the link to the thing uh he posted it in general chat is the last thing there sorry we i didn't know if we had one yet for this since it's still just a one-off sounds good all right Boop. and we got I that should be able to ah! y'all should mm. see how this puppy is on me right now i mean i believe it she's climbing my shoulder i also believe that Oh man, did I accidentally close it? I'll be a sad dude. No. You should already be in it if you just go to your, um... Yeah, that one thing with the stuff. There it is. Okay, I had it on a Pinterest page. Axel, I can't move my character. Oh, he needs to be able to move mine too. Alright, give me a moment then. Yeah, I can't move mine. Uh, that's because I still gotta hook those up to your character pages, which I, you guys do have character sheets, which you should have access to and can rename if you haven't already. I see someone has. I that would be. I, I have. Um, so let me get. I don't, even, I don't remember what I named her. It's always the fun one. Let me move the thing. Why is this so not user friendly? Because friendly user is not found. Hashtag burn. No, I'm just kidding. That's not the one I had selected, but okay. Uh, I hate this thing. Oh. That's not what kidding. I wanted. Come on, why can't I move the where I'm looking at on the map? God. hate this thing. So, yeah, there's like a six foot difference between Azifer and Kuori. Well, that's why I think I made her a little sh initially. Oh, but it's great with the six foot distance. Makes it easier for you to throw me. Yeah. Oh, true, true. Yeah, I think he was half her. Okay. Where is an actual... I'm not putting character sheet stuff on... Yeah, you do not have to at all. That is totally up to you if you wanted to make it easier to roll for yourself. I don't use that. I look at I look at the Beyond stuff or the PDF that you send me. Those are the ones I use. Yeah, I'm not going to type anything on there. I could barely see the map. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I can't even once get again, the character don't sheets you. to pop up, so... For me to plug numbers in... I am more than willing to... Why is he such a bitch? I might just watch it on the freaking Stream? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I fucking hate roll money for the iPad. But yeah, I'm more than willing to take pictures of my rolls. I don't care at all. I'm just saying if you... If things there's are only... Fishy. The thing is, there's only so much... So f that's what I always hope is. There's only so much that rolls can do, right? Like... You can roll as good as you want, but if I roll a crit on a fucking good roll and hit you with 40 damage, you're probably still going to go down. It's one of those things, it's like, the, the, the dice only play a medium-sized part in how the game goes. It's really more based on people's choices. Yeah. Although, like I said, once I start seeing 520s in a roll, then I'm starting to get suspicions. <laughs> 20 yeah. 20 That's 20 it. i'll take which I'll i shouldn't even be suspicious because i've seen <laughs> i shouldn't even be suspicious of that because i've seen someone do that in real life oh yeah several times like he was just that lucky he would always mad roll 20s the, was he a halfling nope <laughs> that would have been funnier though which i can't even fucking groan about that because i'm a halfling ah uh, nerd i think but... you made it because you were so angry I, I I did, but I don't know yeah. if any of you guys watch Critical Role. But there was one episode where, um, Talos and Jaffe got seven at twenties in a single episode. Nice. Maybe the dice was loaded. <laughs> it's like those. I'm not. That's not like that one's not surprising to me. That's a good day. I'm talking. This guy would back to back rolled twenties. 
and I saw it with my own eyes. You know what I mean? Like there was no, yeah. there was no shenanigans about it. I watched him do it. Mm-hmm. And even myself, I've had one instance, and they weren't like consecutive, but probably in the the course of like three hours, I got three different back to back twenties. And I was just like, "Man, today's a fucking good day." Yep. Uh, having said that, I am ready to give you your. Uh... So I know you guys were raised together, etc. Do you have a homeland? Where is your homeland? I didn't really. Yeah, you didn't write that far. I, I figured you didn't. Do you have a homeland for your character for Oriana? Um, I need a city. You can give me a city, knowing what you know. So I don't. I, I'm not too big on cities. I usually work in bigger scales than cities. I let you. I mean, I can do the city. I'm bigger usually on countries and sometimes provinces. That's why what, what links to the things that I do. Okay. Well, she okay. lives in a city. Give me a place where the city is. How's that? Okay. That is fine. For Kuori and Kazifer, the the tribe that raised them was a nomadic tribe in the northern lands and they live basically in like a tundra area gotcha cause when Oriana isn't adventuring she runs a flower shop (laughs) so do with that what you will maybe she turns into a bee all fine things and honestly not too related for the ones just let you know that the oh that's right now i am now on six so i can go to six <sighs> sorry and actually i gotta do seven, don't you dare grab my shoe eight and this will be i gotta look up the actual name blah 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 And that will be a hmm I like the idea of that you guys get to be my first test subject on this oh boy I, test subjects oh yeah that it's gonna be great like fun. it's gonna be great last time we were test subjects with something of yours is the stupid military battle shit oh, oh god no never <laughs> <laughs> to be fair I think you guys are the second people I've done that with. Oh God! This is why that we don't do it anymore. the first time I ever played too. I was like, I have, "What?" <laughs> really? That's. I feel oh, like that was a good intro that. for you. <laughs> huh? I feel like it was a good intro for you because then regular D and D was like way simpler. <laughs> uh, you're not wrong. I was like, "Yes, that has over the truth." Okay, so I think we are ready for the intro. You guys ready for a late intro? Mm-hmm. I'm ready. Let's are you ready Chase to Chase. bumble? Casifer is always ready to rumble. I said bumble. 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 Rumbly, bumbly, tumbly. I'm already almost done with my beer. No, it's too soon. Alright. I had to look up one name. And we are now ready to go. So. Well, you have many different uh, cities, etc., that you may be from. Uh, you all actually come from the land of Bacho, Mazaria. And this land uh, is very, very unique in that all the residents who are born there uh, are initially uh, gifted with a spirit animal. <gasps> yes. Uh, and this is very unique in Oh, sorry. All the... 
She can hear me, yay! <laughs> A viewer. Hashtag love. But, uh, yeah, so in this land, every citizen, period, uh, is born with a spirit animal. Um, the spirit animal grows with you from the time you're little um, and takes the form of a weapon as well. But uh, obviously you can only be a weapon or animal, only one at a time. And uh, the unique thing about the spirit animal slash weapon is that they are life links to their owner. So yeah, don't don't die. And don't let them die. <laughs> Ow, my arm. Anyway, uh, yeah. So because that was what your random D eight roll earlier was for. It was to see what animal you get. Oh. Yep. What I get? Uh, you got a constrictor snake, which turns into. A quarterstaff. Okay. You can name and do with him what you will. Uh, and put them in whatever mode you would see fit to. I am going to give you control of your snake now. Alrighty. Diffy, mm -hmm. you got a wolf. Nice. Let me give Michael control of that. Yeah, he has some. Yeah. And Does that mean Michael got a centipede? <laughs> yeah, he did. God damn it! <laughs> well, you got a giant centipede, but yeah. There's a oh, giant centipede no. that turns into a battle axe. Yay. That's pretty awesome. That Thank you. Awesome. So, we, I need art. Of a battle that has, uh, Why are all of my worlds that amazing? God damn it. <laughs> Just make a I, goddamn comic book already. <laughs> I, I can't control the centipede. I'm working on it, all right? <laughs> Look, man. It's all right. This is why I like doing this, because every, every time, like, literally... 30 minutes before the thing, I'm like, all right, I'm not hearing from a lot of people, which means we might have to do a one-off. And if we have to do a one-off, I'm going to do what I do every time. I'm going to make a new world. <laughs> Except for it really isn't a new world. It's just a world that sits in the existing world. And this is what happened. <laughs> I stole the idea in part from a couple different things. I think I know at least one of the... Oh, which one did... Which one is it? Uh... So what's it called? Bleach? Uh, no, you might be thinking of Soul Reaper. Or Soul yeah. Eater. Soul it's Eater. The, it's, it's Soul Eater. You're thinking of Soul Eater. But no, I wasn't actually thinking of that one. Although I might have been subconsciously. I was definitely thinking of the weapon transformation thing. Oh, Soul Eater. Yeah. Oh, because I was thinking like... Wait, is it called Bleach? The, yeah. You know, like, the weapon? Hot, hot toes and they got the manifestation. Yasha. Some of them have like their their the beings are kind of like animals too. Oh, I guess they are. Yasha. But Soul Eater actually was my second guess. Uh, I'm trying. Me, like, I can't remember the actual name of one of the ones that I stole it from, which is the spirit animal one, and that one's just straight stolen from this Korean manga. All right. Well, my snake's name is Slinky. Yay. I like how my character is called Little Icebox, and she has a wolf. And mine's Baby Ox, I get a fucking centipede. Yeah. Oh. I was going to say, remember, well, and this is the thing, is that the, the, the reason you got a centipede is based on size, for one. Oh. Yes. Oh, you got a little. And here is a reminder and a, yeah, no. something that I had already mentioned, but just a reminder to you that these weapons grow and evolve as you do. <laughs> Currently, your weapon sits, everybody's weapon and animal sits is about a quarter of a level challenge rating. And I did that so that uh, it would be lower than the druid's animal transformation. Because these are supposed to be weapons as well. So not only do these 
obviously animals have their things these animals will have their own special abilities and the weapons will have special effects because they are obviously magical animal weapons so yeah I love my wolf his name is Gambit <laughs> yay yay does he bark he barks at things that come out of the water. <laughs> Roof. Oof. And that stupid cat. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, having said that, because of these different things, you have gained additional uh, special abilities, I guess, for these creatures. Uh, Diffy, your battle axe. Uh, yeah. You can use uh, two or two times per day not long rest but per day uh, you can activate uh, what's called the wolf's howl at which point your battle axe emits like a sonic pulse and uh, enemy creatures in your area have to make a saving throw based on uh, your charisma <laughs> yes and if they fail they're feared for uh, one turn Yes. Michael, uh, you got the yes. centipede. Your battle axe uh, can, two times a day, secrete a poison. Ooh. Yes. And I, if I remember correctly, I did this for a reason. That was what I was looking for. So when it secretes the poison, is it a lasting effect on the weapon, or is it a one hit? Done? One hit, unfortunately, effect. Uh, so this weapon will twice a day be able to use the one hit effect. The thing is, it has to be done before a hit is... So it's like a gamble. You have to coat it in poison, swing... If you hit good, if not, you can't like swing, confirm the hit, and then say poison released. All right. It's not an injection. This, this sword. counts as like a bonus action. Yes. Uh, and the poison is giant centipede venom. Uh, creature subjected to this poison must succeed on a DC uh, eleven Constitution save or take three D six poison damage. If said eleven DC con. Yep. And if the poison damage reduces the target to hit zero hit points, the target is stable but poisoned for one hour even after regaining hit points and is paralyzed while poisoned. Here, I'll, uh, I'll give you this to make it a little simpler for you, buddy. Oh, I was going to say, I'm, I'm writing it all down in the uh, info section of the character sheet. Nice. Ooh, giant centipede venom. I was watching your stream like 10. Paralyzed while poisoned. Wait, are poison you going to take No, I'm thinking of you. You said the poison lasts for one hour? Yes. And finally, for uh, our lovely snake. Uh, we have the special ability to constrict, which uh, twice per day upon landing an attack. This one is actually the opposite. You can't you can't do it before. You have to land the attack for it to work, and then you can activate it. Uh, but in this one, you uh, grapple the target with the weapon, so the staff basically wraps around the target for an escape DC of 14 until you choose it to end or until they break free the cr creature is restrained and you can't constrict another target with the staff her puppy does not agree <laughs> just doesn't no. like snakes and can you send me that as well I can because you sent me the centipede stuff oh did I send that to the wrong one? Oh man yeah. I'm sorry yeah. yeah, I thought I sent it to the general chat too. That's the even sadder part. I'm way out of line. 
well just in case he did miss some of it I'll send it there and yeah obviously they also function as the regular animals of their type when they are of that type however those animals also gain uh, the plus uh, from damage from your uh, strength modifier so instead of their modifier you they get your modifier question what if their strength modifier is greater it doesn't matter because the it's a spirit animal so it's based on you <laughs> damn yeah they're 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 cool but they're not necessarily like i said i wanted to make them a little maybe not as desirable as like summoned animals or uh druid animals you know what i mean i feel like the druid needs yeah. space to shine in this this still and with this kind of stuff like there are animals around but you can still summon better animals yeah and okay. so once again you grow with your animal your animal grows with you uh so once your level gets higher your animal will level will get higher okay and at which point your animal will change and you can actually also change weapon, if you so choose. But that's for if any, you know, I future-proof these. <laughs> and with that, we've got the setup. I think everybody is pretty, you know, ready. Yeah. You guys, uh, you guys, for whatever reason or another, your personal motivations are your own. But you have found yourself on the Intercontinental Sky Express because one thing I didn't mention about Bacho, it's a sky country. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna make my character just like hate being on planet. <laughs> it's her first time she goes, we should not be the time. Without land on her feet. <laughs> well, this is also the country of your origin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a full sky country. I mean, it has mountains and oceans, and it is not like a sky island. It is a sky country. Nice. With many districts and areas and subdivisions and provinces and war. No. What is it? <laughs> but yes, as you, uh, are on the train yada 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 you know blah 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 you uh hear something rumbling from the next car and in through the door bursts something if i can ever open adobe again god damn it <laughs> sorry about that adobe pisses me off Right. Yeah. I'm just half curious arguing with the bull. No, I don't like flying objects <laughs> unless I eat them. <laughs> when in through the door leading forward, burst three men holding weapons and uh, dressed in all black. Upon entering the room, they scream out in a uh, foreign language that you haven't heard before and uh, start stabbing people nearby. So they stab this person and this person to start with. Rude. And they go down quick. Mm. Are these five feet squares? Actually, the so the ones you're moving in are so like when you move your character, it moves a five foot square. But the squares in the train are ten foot squares. Okay, 
that I was asking about the ones that I was moving in, so we're good. Yeah. Well, that makes it easier to count ten. I wonder, do I have enough space where I could run halfway and then the half length? <laughs> Jesus, these guys are far away from me. Uh, yeah, I didn't really think about placement. I just had, you know, I just threw you on you the map. threw us on there. To be fair, that's life, you know, you just get thrown on the train. Yeah. Honey, away. I, I named my centipede Snendos. Snendos? Yes. <sighs> okay. Oh, also your uh I did not mention this, your your animals uh have the same intelligence as you as well. Oh fun. <laughs> and they can telepathically communicate with you. Man, why'd you have to pick my two lowest stats? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I mean you're a druid. Fair. This these animals weren't made for you. <laughs> Although the weapon bonus is nice. Yeah. Is it my turn yet? Well, uh, you haven't really rolled your. As I say, no one's rolled initiative to figure out what's going to do. Well, I kind of wanted to just be like, how? Like, this is rude. How dare they just stab the weaker folk? So, what I wanted to do is run as far as I can with Halfling and then meet him to the one I could throw at closest. <laughs> Um, attack his face. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna have uh, my centipede turn into the battle axe. Alrighty, which I'm going to actually consider a action because I feel like I, I I don't know. I think that would be cooler as a quick action. Actually, I'm just gonna say that's a that's a free action. Yeah, free action. Yay, free action. So it's. So it is a free action, not a bonus action. Because we have mm, right. Action. Actually, we'll make it bonus action. I think it's cool because I feel like it's one of those things where you see in the movie where they like grab it and then it turns. You know what I mean? Or they're like, "To me, Hawk." <laughs> I'm just saying that's how it happens in my head. And I feel like that's a bonus action as opposed to a free action, which is like unclicking your revolver, or like. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's some things that take like no no time. But yeah, we'll say I want it to be quick enough to be useful, but not so quick that it's just dumb. It's just like I free action, then attack with the sword, then free action back to the thing, then free action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So bonus action definitely makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll limit it with the bonus action. Uh you do have somebody right here as you can see, hopefully. Kind of in your way. Well, Ooh. me being oh. the barbarian I am, I kind of push them. Oh, that is a. Attempts. I mean, you're gonna win, but that is a strength check. It's like. But yeah, I'm gonna push them like towards this way. Yeah, that, that whatever way you want to yeah. push them. You know what? This way. Okay. So they're out of the way. Oh. I just imagine you flinging your arm backwards as you stand up, just out of my way, plebeian. But oh. it's, but you're like short, so you hit them in the face. <laughs> <laughs> so one d twenty plus four for my strength check. See, I like this level for starting early because at level ten, it's really hard to do anything to anybody. Ah, there we go. That's a nice one. So you push them out of the way. They're like, hey. <laughs> And then they fall over because they suck. <laughs> also, so I can use the prone I'll one. I'll use that. My bad. Nah, it's fine. Things happen. I mean, it works though. Man, I they threw it. Of really... course, I'd be talking to bees. <laughs> it's like I know the pollen isn't in yet. All right. Uh, yeah. So you can you you've pushed them out of the way. Um, I guess you're still not technically in combat, so. Glory, throw me. Oh, I plan to. <laughs> I... I was 
wasn't even gonna ask for permission. I was just gonna, <laughs> I was gonna grab you, run and eat. <laughs> All right. Well, Ori, Ori's gonna start moving closer. So ten, thirty, and Slinky's following. Okay. I'm guessing oh, these people that you were moving that were already on here are innocents? Um, that is up to you to decide as your own person. What you see is what you, is what you get. They're all moving that way. Uh, basically, they seem to be running the three black people in black that entered are over here. Yeah. So everyone else, as far as I'm aware, is just an innocent bystander. Yes, except for these two who are bodies now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can work with that. Uh, I'm awful. This like, can't be an innocent. Cool, lady, get out of the way. Uh, let me roll for what she's gonna do. Oh man, she panics. This one's moving though. So yeah, she did not move. Um. She's just standing there freaking out. And the cultist, having killed the, those two, this one is now running over here. This one is starting his way there, and he's just finished. He's actually still stabbing this person. All right. And he goes, Jarabagabah. Do I have initiative bonus? Please tell me I have initiative bonus. Yes, I do. I actually do this time. He has a bonus. Huzzah. That's right. my initiative. Are we rolling initiative now? I think it's probably a good time. Alright, 15. Alrighty. No, I didn't. Wait. No, not money. What in my stats? And I should have just added turns, so hopefully that's working okay. How's the stream looking, Dippy? Uh, so far so good. I just have to wait for a second so I can find my. Oh, no worries. I just meant as far as you being able to see what was going on. Uh, everything up to, to now looks fine. Like, I'm gonna oh, move my uh, centipede up over here, since it's my battle axe right now. Uh, that is a good plan. A... <laughs> <laughs> I have a plus one plus and he is, he is now a runch. My turn for my initiative turn. <laughs> so you got a two. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We're gonna give you a two there. And it was a 15 rate for Oriana. Yeah. Okay, so. So, uh, yeah, the, what you see is what you get. What are you gonna do? They have made their moves. They, they that dude had to walk around the body. Actually, they would have made it about this far, and was he's actually would have made it to here and stabbed this woman. So she is now dead. Because <sighs> I, I was not counting right. Far enough. Oh wait, it's not my turn yet. Turn. Is yeah, that's the only problem with turn order. Sometimes it fucks with those combination attacks. This. <laughs> It, it kind of does, so we can't really eat right now because by the time it's your turn, they would have been closer. There's no point in eating. Oh, uh, they they would have been uh, technically. Oh yeah, that's the thing. So we should technically pull them back from what they were doing because they would have been let. They wouldn't have been able to act again out of turn. So this woman's still there. Uh, these two have just stabbed this person. You guys did your non-action movements and now have been seen, so it triggers interaction. It's not a surprise. They can, they're can they looking this way. But yeah, go for it. Well, um, as per how we usually do combat together, I'm going to stand at the ready and I'm going to uh, actually... If I go to activate the poison, it lasts 
until I hit? Yep. Till your All next right. swing. Oh, until my next swing. Okay. Yeah, not until you land a hit, but until your next attempted hit. So if you, like, oh. hit someone's blade or armor, the poison wipes off. Because you basically have enough poison to coat the very edge of the sword. Gotcha. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna have that at the ready, too, so the poison's on the blade. Alrighty. And that will, uh, end my turn. Alrighty. As this little halfling standing there with a battle axe, two-handing it. I have now given the townspeople a turn. Ha ha! The townspeople said fuck all y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Let me move them real quick. Well, the ones that are moving. See, this is why we should never. <laughs> I love that I always waste my good rolls on shit like that. Oh, wait, no, she's panicked still. And I assume your wolf is just chilling. Is My wolf, I'm going to say that he usually stays close to me. Okay. Unless is, I he not a, is he not a battle axe right now? No, unless I ask. Okay, just making sure. Anyway, yeah. have, you, have you done what you wanted to do, Oriana? Um, here's the thing. I don't have a range. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm going to... You better run fast. <laughs> Just run, Forrest, okay. run. 30. Let's see where... That puts me now range wise. Um. Oh. <gasps> now, okay. Question. If the range of my spell is 120 feet. Mm hmm. I, uh, okay, it's a five foot radius, so yeah, we're gonna moonbeam. Oh, guy right the there. lovely moonbeam. Moonbeam's just gonna fucking tear through the roof of the space eating I car. I thought you didn't have range. <laughs> I know, okay. Look, moonbeam is an exception. Stuff, fucks shit up. Moonbeam has always been the druid exception, it just got a lot stronger in the most recent versions. Moonbeam used to be a joke. So it's engulfed in ghostly flames that cause staring pain and needs to make a constitution save of 14. Moonbeam! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I like it. It's, it's, it's a classic from our campaign. Beam? Yeah. And the archers attack. <laughs> uh, archers attack! <laughs> <laughs> Advance! That's, that was it. Archers, attack! Absolutely. Advance! Oh my god, I should have killed that fucking coconut when I had a chance. Uh, okay, so I still need to find my okay, so. Okay. Oh, it made the save, so roll your thing and I will take half damage. Uh, that is. Does it do anything else? No, it's just 2d10, so yeah, 10. And it's radiant if that matters. Uh, it doesn't for this one, but that's good to know. Alright, so 10 damage goes through, and it is he's looking pretty unhappy about that. He's like, ah. Also, I don't know if it's relevant, but a shape changer makes the saving throw with disadvantage. It is not currently, but it is always good to remember with that. Damn anti werewolf beam. <laughs> it's just like, oh man, you wanted to press a moon beam. On the bright side, you know. 
Kobe for accuracy, yeet for distance. <laughs> Kobe has the fadeaway. That's what really makes it a Kobe. Let's be honest. But, uh, yeah. Something's not right here. I'm missing some of these stats for this. I think all my allergies made my, my nose, like, clog, like, clog out. And oh, that's what these are. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's why I was looking at the wrong one. And then, can I get, like, a five-foot circle that I can move around so I know where my moonbeam's at? Mm, I can probably make something like that. I'm just gonna look for the smallest asset I can find. Oop. Well, it's not exactly a circle, but hey, it works. Well, it's not a circle yet. Oh, hey, I can do things too. Can't remember how to make a circle, though. How about that? I'm too lazy I mean, to. it's five feet. That's all I Oh, wait, there about. it was. Square. Yeah, that's it. Um, boop, 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 boop. There you go. Ah, I keep drawing things. I'm sorry. I think that was... Oh, is that you? Well, so both of those get... Oh, wait, that guy's in there, too. I need to make another one. I think this is too big. It's five foot radius, right? Oh, radius is only half. Yeah. Oh, snap. Can I center it so, like, they're both fully in it then? Um. <laughs> we're gonna go with no just because it's difficult to do on the map. <laughs> Fair. At least you make it a little too. We work in five foot increments. This guy is technically in the circle, by the way, still. Okay. Because of the way the five foot radius circle works, like every everything within that is within the thing. Okay. Uh, which means I needed to make another save, so I went and did it, and he did not make the save, so this other guy actually, because uh, you did how much damage? Ten. It's 10 total. So that was the the total, right? Not the halved yes, damage? I don't have uh, any... Okay. Okay. I just I wanted to make sure. Yeah. Four. That is, okay. I just wanted to make sure. So one of them goes down to that. Which is actually works because I fucked up in my head too. And that guy goes to that. Okay, cool. So yeah, uh, they both get hit by, oh, and actually I forgot about that too. God, I'm stupid. <laughs> well, I looked up the stats on the wrong monster. Let's go with that. So this is actually, Doo -doo -doo. there we go. And all right, yep, good to go. So that would make it their turn, and they actually have to make another saving throw because they start their turn in Moonbeam. <laughs> so go ahead and roll your damage because it'll do damage regardless. And one saved and one did not. Um, seven, seven. eleven. <laughs> Okay, so that is six and eleven. Alrighty, and now they get to do their turn. I'm gonna put this eyeball thing on my character, so as my concentration reminder. <laughs> Spells. There we go. Well, the first thing they do is <laughs> sorry, I got to move that so I can move them. And he is standing on the row. And he now stabs and kills this woman. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at some of these.
and I need TCN. Should start copying these down in there too for fast copy paste shit. Okay, yeah, it's gonna do that when it comes up. Alrighty, um, but until now it'll cast. You see this one. Oh, it can do that. I forgot about that. this one so you see a floating spectral weapon appear in front of you Michael uh-huh uh-huh and it swings at you for a 19 okay does, does that hit yes okay and which point oh went wrong button you take 10 damage and the weapon actually moves to right here oh no wait no i can't do that yet okay yep so then that ends say, if the weapon moves i want to take an attack unfortunately it would be spectral so you couldn't but uh <laughs> but it can't it can't move as per the spell um and then the other one did that so they can do those four yep okay Negative as it was. And I think that's their turn. So, Corey, it's your turn. Are are we oh okay, there he is. I couldn't see him at first. I was like, are we missing a third enemy? He's around. For now. So, what we doing? Uh, Diffie is currently on mute, so... Hi. Oh, Hello! <laughs> it, is it my turn yet? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh! I was just sitting here waiting patiently. Oh, sorry, Leah. Oh. I was, uh, it's your turn. Why does this thing keep on getting off of your thing when I go to look at my fucking stat? God damn it. Well, I still like diet. Well, you should be able to now. Which one did you want to eat, Matt? Oh, there's like a thing in the way. You have edit token stuff. Now she's just dead. So there's that one. There's that one. And there's this uh, one. I can't see because right now uh, the thing's still showing. Okay, there you go. Now I can see it. I All see right, what you're So you I'm gonna there. go. I guess my action. I'm gonna eat the halfling. I'm not even gonna ask for permission. I'm just gonna grab him. <laughs> <laughs> and then as my bonus action, I'm gonna hold my arm out, and the wolf is gonna turn into my battle axe. And I'm gonna ready for my own attack after. Hello. Sorry, sorry. You can definitely do that. I'm looking up some stats. Oh, okay, cool. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm trying to write down all, like my big stats on my journal because every single time I get out of Twitch to look at my stats, it freaking takes me out of your page. That sucks. Um, so what we're going to do is a strength roll for the throw. All right, strength throw. All right, six plus five equals 11. It's pretty average, so no pluses or minuses. Uh, now you're going to do a, a dex throw or a dex. It's basically a ranged attack, but you don't get any bonuses or proficiencies. So a so D20. A D20. A D20 plus whatever your dexterity bonus is. Alright, dexterity. Uh, 16. Well, that's the 16, so it'll be plus 3. So. Or was that the roll? 15 was the roll, and my dexterity is plus one. Unless you're asking for so, specific. No, no, no. That's that's so fine. Bad. I was I was just confused. That's cool. Sixteen. All right. I believe. Let me double check here. That is good. And so now you're going to roll a, a D four. Why are you laughing? I don't like this. Just roll the D four. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, halfling. Oh, you got a one. All right, so you pick up Kazavir, Ket, what a Kazafer, Kazafuck. <laughs> <laughs> a fuck you what? Just, just call him Kaz. I don't want to call him cunt. Anyway, it's <laughs> good. <laughs> you pick up Kaz and you yeet him at the nearest, as you know, the as depicted. Uh, and he hits them square in the chest for full one damage. <laughs> um, you want me to make a dex to see if I land on my feet? Uh, that's up to you. I was going to say, um, yeah, you probably should do that too. He needs to make a, a dex or acrobatics. I feel like that's an acrobatics. All right, I'll do an acrobatics. Hopefully oh man, I land on my feet. That dude got a crit for his save, so he's on his feet. D twenty plus my acrobatics, which is a five. Waste your 11. crit here too. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Is how hard should this be? Let's see. All right, we'll say you got you got it with that. Yeah, I'm on my feet. You're like, ha human bullet. Uh, and yeah, that makes it the passenger's turns. <laughs> Cowering, so running. I readied my axe. So you, now, now you've turned him into an axe? Yeah, because I, I used my full action to eat him, and then I used my half action to call my wolf to okay. turn into an axe and ready for battle. Okay, sounds good. This person has gotten back up and is now uh, on their way. This guy is in the corner trying to run away. And yeah, Kaz's turn. I'm going to do the most barbarian thing I can do. I'm going to enter a rage. Oh shit. <laughs> so I enter a rage and I'm going to uh, swing at the cultist that is in front of me with my battle axe and it still has the poison on it. Alrighty, and one second. I'm just checking a bunch of other stuff. Yep. Alright, so that's an attack roll. Which is a D twenty plus nine. Oof. <laughs> All right. So here's my to hit. Ooh, twenty five. All 
I mean, that's a hit, but one second. Yeah. Tell me when you want me to continue, Axel. Ah, okay, that's where it is. Alright, go for it. Alright, so since that hit, I'm gonna roll for damage. Since I'm two-handing my battle axe, that's 1d10 plus 8. Oh, no, 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 not, not 1d20, I wish it was 20. <laughs> So, I hit it for 16 damage. Very nice. And now he has to make a DC save or take 3d6 poison. Alright, let's see what he gets. Ooh, I'm pretty sure he made that save with a 17. 11. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and I don't... I'll, use, I'll use my second attack to attack him again. Alrighty. So roll one d twenty plus nine. There we go. That makes more sense. Oof, a twelve. Uh, let me double check. But I think that might be just a bit out of range for these guys. They is indeed just a bit out of range for these guys, my friend. Well, fuck that guy. Um, I'm going to use Frenzy to, for, uh, to attack him with a bonus action. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright. Roll on d20 again. Plus 9. God damn. 13. That does hit. Yeah! <laughs> so roll 10 plus 8. I hit him for 16 again. Alrighty. And he goes down sad with two large battle axe wounds of centipede origin in his chest. And he screams, it!" And now you must make a reflex roll. A reflex, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Which for you I would, is... I would get advantage with that, right? Because of danger sense? Since that's a dex saving throw I think so your guys on deck saving throws against effects that you can see yes because you can see this awesome. so I'll roll my first one d20 plus two. yep yeah you it, you don't got that your con is much better and your strength is yeah. much better but the others yeah, I like how they put saving throws on everything now which except for yeah you know, yeah it's you never Still. use some of them it's a plus two, and I have advantage, so... And I'd get to re-roll that one anyways, because halfling luck. Fucky halfling. <laughs> so this is the re-roll for that one. And... 20 plus two for advantage. <laughs> I'm taking the uh, critical, of course. Alrighty. And so, you take only 14 damage as you... Dodge backwards, one space. Eh. And he explodes. Mm. So now his body is not there. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some stuff from him and then delete him. You didn't mean anything to me. And with that, that ends my turn. Okay, that was that one. That was that was three. So this one should be there. Yep. And well, either way, he would have been done that one. So this one is still that. 
And then we've got Oriana's turn as she comes in from the back. Alright. She's going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 feet closer still. And uh, she's going to move her moonbeam. I can move it up to six feet. Uh, let's move it to here. So that guy is now back in the that guy actually hasn't air. been in a moonbeam yet the other two guys are in a moonbeam either way someone is in the sphere all right <laughs> so in the circle so he did not make his saving roll save to take 10 damage all right so he took 10 damage because he did not make his roll and that is my turn because I don't have any good bonus actions. Yet. Does... <laughs> yeah. Because it's I my... Mean, if, you, if you get close enough to me, I can yeet you. <laughs> <laughs> it would be a little bit harder to yeet the tiefling. I mean, possible I for sure. <laughs> I use both <laughs> arms this time. Blah. <laughs> Uh, but it is it Corey's turn. To move my moonbeam, yeah. It is a full thing. It's 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 a cool thing, but it is not autopilot. <laughs> it's like... But it's fine because I'm way in the back anyway. <laughs> so that is what moonbeam is for. It's like I hate you from down the hall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make that meme. That's gonna be my meme, D and D meme of the week. Just moonbeam for when you hate your neighbor all the way down the block. Something, something, something. Moon. Yeah, but uh, it is Corey's turn. Did you say me? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes okay. Your okay. Turn. Cool. Cool. All right. Since. So I readied my stuff. Close enough where I could just head over there and like start wailing on people. You are not, unfortunate. Wait, I can't you move that. 80 feet as a barbarian? Uh, shit. Hold on. Or not 80, 40. Yeah, she can move 40 feet. Yeah. You actually should be able to get to. My, my walking speed is. Because I'm a big bay. Yeah. So you should be able she to get, get over right there. there. Or she can get right here. Yep. So you can go to the top guy or the bottom guy? I'll get to whoever's closest and then I'm just gonna... Uh, the top guy is technically closest. Okay. So right. technically you could go up, smack top guy, and if you kill him you could walk towards the other guy the last five feet with the way movement works. Alright, so that's 35 feet of movement. Yeah, and you get there, and then... But I wouldn't... I can't... One second, I gotta double check that. Is this bitch in my way? <laughs> no, she dead. Oh, she dead. She okay, dead. Okay. Uh, quick reminder, you are not there yet, but Moonbeam is not friendly fire. <laughs> or it is friendly fire. <laughs> well, I, I know. But also, I don't know these people. That's fine. I'm just I'm letting Div I'm letting Divi know more than you because she uh, okay. can walk because she can walk into Moonbeam. You you don't have to like have yeah. you can walk straight into a Moonbeam. I've had someone walk into their own Moonbeam. <laughs> Michael, this is not wrong. <laughs> Tee But yeah, I love that too. He had totally forgot he left Moonbeam on. Yeah. <laughs> This yep. is why I asked for something to to mark it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yes, you can now attack that person. You could use your rage if you want. You do all many many things. Uh, sure. I've never used rage before, so it's a good way to work. All right, so I'll rage and beat the shit out of him if possible. Alrighty, so you've entered your rage, which gives you a couple different bonuses. Uh, 
uh, extra damage, extra or advantage on r certain rolls, stuff, Yay. stuff like that. Um, but for your purposes, for your purposes, the big the big difference is a uh, change in damage and a change in uh, the that you can use frenzy. Those are the biggest yeah. changes of rage. You can also use like, well, that's actually you can use that without. There's there's a bunch of different yeah. stuff you can use without it, but that's the one big one. Attack a bonus action on each of your turns after this one. All right, just for learning experience. Which you already so get can... two attacks a turn because you have the uh, double attack action. <laughs> Alright, so in Rage you get two extra attacks? No, you just do that regularly. You you oh, can cool. use Frenzy when you're Raged to get another extra attack every turn while you're Raged. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna so I can learn how to do this. So I already entered, I went, I entered into Rage mode, and I'm gonna use Frenzy to beat his face in. <laughs> okay. So with, with the battle axe. axe okay yeah <laughs> i was like thinking yes axe uh go ahead roll your d20 you're gonna get a plus 10 for your hit dc Eleven, ten, twenty-one. 10 21 that is a hit Eight, ah. Plus seven. Oh, just a two. Nine. Alrighty. Nine. He takes nine damage and he's looking worse for wear after being moonbeamed and hit with an axe of wolfish descent. Do I get another action thing? Or you have I... another yes. attack, and then you can choose to use your frenzy to go into a frenzy attack. Yeah, I'm gonna do all the things. <laughs> all right, so go for your next attack. Which yeah, is deep. I'm basically just trying to like axe his face in. Okay. I'll do it again. Oh, that's for damage. Okay, so I had a five if I make it, but I need my d I mean, it's going to be pretty hard to miss. With a plus <laughs> 10. 16. That is a hit. And with uh, with 5 damage, you said? But that's 5 without any add-on. Oh, I was going to say, I didn't think you could get that low. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, that 5 was just what I did. Okay, so that's 12 damage. Yeah. Alrighty, so you hit that guy and he screams in pain and dies, and you must now make a reflex save, which you get advantage on, so you get a roll twice. Yay. So reflex is a regular d Uh, it's for you, e plus one. Alright, so 12. Did you roll your second one? You get advantage oh, okay. on it for being oh, a barbarian. Okay. Ah, no! No, I thing went into the couch. Okay, have <laughs> Let's say that again. <laughs> Sorry, that was a plus what? One? Plus yeah. one. Oh, that was a nine. I don't remember my first one. Oh, it was twelve. Yeah. So uh, unfortunately, neither of those are good enough. Alright. And you. Oh, sorry. Wrong one. And you take twelve points of damage. Alright. Gotta love the rolls. And now you are left with five feet of movement. I think so. Five feet of movement? Yep, and that is actually. One second. Gotta check. One thing. It doesn't say, so I'm gonna assume it's just free. Because it doesn't say, which is always great. Hint doesn't even list the page, that's also great.
So were there any actions that I had left? No, Did and actually, I, I just them? noticed that uh, Michael messed up last time too, or I messed up in policing it. Because you can't rage and frenzy attack on your same turn the first time. Ah. Uh, because oh, they're because both bonus the actions. Bonus yep, action. and the frenzy attack is a bonus action. Okay. Yeah. So Michael okay. wouldn't have been able to kill that last guy, but that's okay. Shit happens. Um, but yeah, that is basically your turn. You can go five feet, but if you go closer to that guy, you're going to step into the moonbeam. No, I'm good. Thank you. I killed the first dude. She is happy. Okay. It threw me off because it doesn't have bonus action next to the frenzy. It has it further in the description. It does. Yeah. It is, and and that's it not only that, the regular frenzy description doesn't it does say the bonus, but it doesn't have all the details. You have to click it and then go into more detail. Alright, so I just went into a rage, right? Yeah, you're just raging. And uh now it is the cultist's turn, which I think we might have skipped their turn last turn, because I've deleted dude on accident. Uh he needs to make a con save, which he made, so you need to roll the damage from Moonbeam again. That's a four this time. Okay, so he did not take that much damage this time. <laughs> but he is screaming in anger and runs up at you. And he speaks some weird words and he goes to touch you. Oh. And he, unfortunately, I don't think he hits because he only got a 17. No, he hits. Really? I have a 15 AC, dude. I have no armor. That is uh, rough. That is barbarian life, though. All health, no armor. Having said that, uh, give me a moment. I need to look at something inside of him. Because now I put all their info inside of them to save myself time. Uh-huh. I think that's correct anyway, because I would have that. All right. And you are going to take 16 necrotic damage. I don't know if it matters or not, but I figured I'd state that as you feel a burning sensation pulse through your body. And that's all he can do. His turn's done. He's a sad, sad man. His friends are all dead. And cultists, so I mean, wasn't that great to begin with. <laughs> These people are all still running away. Except for a couple that are cowering in the corner because they failed their rolls. And it's Kaz's turn. Yeah! Well, since I'm still raging at this point, I'm going to swing my axe! And I swing my axe! 29... Spider. 15. That is a hit. Alright. 1d10 <laughs> plus 8... 10 damage. Alright, you take a nice big swing at him and take a nice chunk out of him, but he looks at you and goes, Bah! <laughs> Good job, do. And I make my second attack. Plus eight. Plus eight. No, it's plus nine. Thirteen. Oh. Alrighty, you uh, you stick him square in the side, and he lets out a blood curdling yell, and uh, then you got to make another dex roll with advantage. Yeah. Save. You know, I'm gonna take it just in case I do roll a crit. <laughs> it's like a. No, but hey, the the first one was a twenty. Uh, then you're good for the save, but you still take. Seven damage for it's it's a half damage save. Yeah, because basically those guys explode on death. <laughs> nice. Holy! Oh, did I really make it so big? Holy crap! Why? I went too ham on those. Cool. Oh, I hope I'm using the same, the right thing. Alrighty, but yeah, I mean, uh, 
combat is now over. The cultists have been taken care of. The only three people died besides the cultists. <laughs> and some random weirdo who jumped off the train. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, all three of them are there? Yeah, they're going. Yep. Yep. When did that happen? This last time. the barbarians <laughs> attacked them. <laughs> okay. Well, seeing that the enemies are down, I'm going to drop the moonbeam. Moonbeam is gone. Although I'm actually just going to. Here, we're just going to. I'm over there. I, I'm actually going to steal this for my archives. This is now my moonbeam beam. <laughs> Do I have to say when I'm no longer in rage? Uh, to it in a, in one turn it won't matter. Your rage drops if you don't attack someone for more than one turn. And okay, cool. also, is a frenzy raged, right? Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. So we so we get one level of exhaustion. Yep. That is the uh, give and Downfall. take for frenzy, Wait, which is why I was not able to use the. Oh, that's right. She didn't actually use her frenzy. You did, no. and you weren't supposed to. So you are exhausted. <laughs> yep. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, let's give you. Let's see. How are we gonna do this? I got it. I want a visual depictor too, though. We're gonna give you a sleepy face. I mean, that's what I was going to do. My problem is like I don't know how to level these except for adding more. So I'll just like then I'll add a snail that's level two levels. <laughs> <laughs> just start adding more and more levels like I'm dead already <laughs> stop I'm still already dead uh but yeah no um dead or better good job very nice Kaz and you know Corey and Ori and yeah he does look a little beat up he did actually take some damage in that Oh yeah, I took a lot of fucking right. damage. <laughs> took a couple of ex I forgot you took a couple explosions and some uh some good stuff. So but so he's covered in gore and laying on the fucking ground. Yeah, now. he's basically covered in just blood and gunpowder or whatever they used. To. It's just like why? Why do they always blow up when we're done? Alright. <laughs> Baby um... Ox, you must learn to do more burpees. <laughs> that. Go ahead. Oh no, nothing. She's just uh, making fun of his exhaustion already. All right. Well, seeing that he took a bit of damage during that, and he <laughs> helped defeat them, Ori's gonna go up, introduce herself. Hi, I'm Oriana. Good job there. And she's gonna pat him on the shoulder and cast the Cure Wounds at level two. I'm gonna roll for how she feels about you. All right, a level two Cure <laughs> she Wounds. She's <is> angry. <laughs> <laughs> Get off, baby ox. <laughs> and that. Two D eight plus. Two D eight plus three, so that is thirteen hit points. Woohoo! I'm basically at half life. Someone say half life? <laughs> <laughs> uh, only gamers get that joke. Anyway, uh, Corey go ahead and kill the turn. The the weird creature lady touched her halfling. <laughs> At least blame your dice. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can't spell worth a shit. Thank God there's spell checker. Yay for spell check. And actually, I'll be right back. My windows are open, and now that it's dark out, it's actually cold. Hey, Alex! Yeah. And he is actually doesn't have his camera to. <laughs> Wild one. <laughs> At which point a man bursts through the door, screaming, Holy shit! 
Yes! <laughs> what the Please. fuck was that? Please tell me that's fucking Catharsis in a different outfit. I blame Donnie. Who the f are you people? The man is wearing heavy metal armor and looks heavily confused. As he always does. Wait, she's not here. She's the only Does she know who Donnie is yet? Yeah, she does. Hi, I'm I'm here. Okay. <laughs> Slight. Is it right. Donnie it again, and what's his it. face? Oh, we don't know that for a fact. We're just going by the way that Axe is acting with it that it's Catharis. I bet it's Catharis. Has to be Catharis. <laughs> <laughs> I love that I changed his outfit and anything, but I knew immediately I was like, I can't pull him in. There's no way to pull him in without... Like, I could if I really went about it, but, like, that's not how he works. <laughs> like, if he shows up, you know who the... F like I said, I didn't have to say anything. I just walked in. I'm like, holy shit. But, yeah, he and walks in. instantly. Yes. But, yeah, he walks in. He I is, uh... All these minutes. <laughs> he's in heavy metal armor. He's, uh... He's... Uh, covered in gore, basically, pretty similarly to uh, Kaz, and he is uh, he's just like, holy shit, I think I need to sit down, I can't sit down, I don't know how, <laughs> they never taught me. I'm sorry, are you okay? I mean, generally. You look heavily Hello. damaged, do you fight a mammoth? No, I did kill one of those once, though. And thought it was an elephant at first. But then I realized I don't know what elephants are. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't know if I know what an elephant is either. I definitely know what a mammoth is, though, now. <laughs> yeah. Also, also, my mammoth senses are tingling, but they've been tingling ever since I killed it. <laughs> I think that I think I might have caught something. Uh, that's a bummer. Anyway, what are you all doing in this weird train? I warned them. Planes are no good. This is not a plane, but okay. <laughs> oh yeah, what are those things called again? I think it's Trains? called. Trains? Yeah, I think it's Please, I no. think it's called escargo. Yeah, that's it. That sounds like a food. I had a pet name that once. Was it a duck? Nah. They used to they they used to call it a valios or something. Oh, a weird breed. That sounds delicious. It does. Anyway. Uh, it's, <laughs> how are you all, how, how are you all doing in this train cart? Because that other train cart, it's fucked. I'm dying here. I have to, like, pause the mute. <laughs> uh. I think this train car is under control now, but... Do you have it some... Was... Sorry, go ahead. It was a bit of trouble a minute ago. Do you have weird dudes in black yelling things at you in weird language? I couldn't hear them, but there were dudes in black. There were stupid, weird men yelling weird things and killing people did not need to. Did, did... And exploding upon death. Yeah, is... yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah, there weren't any of those in the car I came from, but that sounds crazy. I hate just keeping them around. <laughs> I, I do that literally just I don't even think most people can or can see it or are paying attention, but because you're watching stream, you can see me doing it. Like oh, even I, 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 I notice it. It's the thing so is like I don't say anything. It is pretty much what he does. <laughs> I do that with uh ESO. I just make the camera go round and run. <laughs> Yeah, they started doing weird explosive things when I hit him with my axe times. Your axe makes people explode? Apparently. Nice. Now good. Mine makes people's my face axe explode. Does the same thing. And my axe <laughs> doesn't do anything special like that. Then again, oh, I don't have an axe. All kinds of nice things. She lets go of the axe and the axe. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Oh. Dirt. Dirt. This is Gambit. Holy shit! He is the goodest boy. <laughs> well, aren't you the goodest boy? <laughs> and Slinky is just up on my shoulders. That is a big snake. I like it. Whoa, when did you get that snake? Wait, I've, who are I'm, you? I'm Oriana. That big silver thing that was just here a minute ago? That was me. Ah. This is Slinky. <laughs> what is that? I'm gonna say that she doesn't know what a snake is, given that she's from wintry areas. Of the Sky Island. Wintry this... mountainy areas. Ah, yes. This is Slinky. He's relatively harmless unless you, you know, you piss us off. Do you like- I hold him out for her to see. He looks like he would go downstairs well. Can I- <laughs> I have a weird wanting desire to snoop. <laughs> To what? The boot, the snoot. <laughs> I mean, you can. Boots the snoot. <laughs> and as she does that, his tongue flickers out at her. Oh, I'm sorry. You're not like. It's about at this time, Casper finally lets go of his axe and it turns back into Stendos. Holy shit, it's a giant bug. <laughs> Don't you step on it. That's my axe. Yeah, the funnier part is, and I did this on purpose, that all of your, uh, the animals themselves, are they're based on what, you know, you got, but because you guys all basically got the biggest weapons you can get, they're all as big as you are. <laughs> as far as size goes, they're all... I have a giant wolf. Holy shit, because he's nice. I mean, they're not the same height, but they're the same, like, size model, so, like, because you're a medium-sized character, he is a, is a full medium-sized character. That was the the desire, but yeah, he looks yeah. at he was like, "Holy shit, you guys all have magic weapons and animals. That's crazy. I like it." Are Are you not from around here? I don't. I mean, I mean, maybe. I mean, I've got something similar. Okay, give me a second, and he takes off his helmet and he puts it on the ground. Takes off his what? His Sorry, his helmet. Oh yeah. And he puts it on the ground. Yes. But nothing happens. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Hey. Hey. Quack. God damn it, Donnie. Yes. <laughs> and the helmet turns into Donnie. Oh my god, yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Quack. Donnie, yes, you are not a helmet. I keep telling you this. Quack. I don't care if it feels more natural. <laughs> I can do it. Uh... Quack! Donnie, you have been a really big asshole ever since we got on this train. Quack, what do you mean you've been acting the same as always? Quack, Donnie, I don't like your tone. You turn back into a hat right now. Quack. What do you mean you're not a hat? You just told me you were a helmet. At which point Donnie uh, comes over here and sits on the, on the chair and quacks again. I'm officially dying here. <laughs> Oriana is not sure how she feels about Donnie and she backs up. Yeah, Donnie... Donnie does his own thing. I can't make Donnie do anything. Quack. Yeah, I know you're your own man, Donnie, but you're a duck. <laughs> what a tiny little creature. Yeah, Donnie's small. Quack. What do you mean you're big on the inside, Donnie? I don't understand. <laughs> I've told you I don't know what a metaphor is. <laughs> I only know enough to say that sentence to explain that I don't know what a metaphor is. Boop, Dunny Snoop. Quack. 
I'm not saying that, Donnie. <laughs> Quack, I'm not saying that, Donnie. <laughs> At which point, Dan Donnie turns back into a helmet. It's, it's still on the thing. He's like, you know, Donnie, you'd be a real asshole sometimes. <laughs> And he picks Donnie back up and puts him back on his head. At which point Danny at which point Donnie turns back into Donnie. <laughs> God damn it, Donnie! You are not only messing up my life, but also my name. What's your name? Oh, uh, my name's Catharis. Ah. But some people, you know, they confuse me. For Donnie. I don't know why, we don't look alike. Quack, no we don't, Donnie! Brothers from another mother? Quack. Donnie, I am not gonna say this again, you are not my brother. Quack, what do you mean we look just like each other? <laughs> you are a duck, Quack! I am so done with Donnie today. <laughs> He's been like this the whole train ride. And we rode the train three times. <laughs> Quack, well, yes, I know if I had not fallen asleep, we would have got off on the right stop, Donnie. <laughs> Why didn't you wake me? Quack, yes, I know you're a helmet. At which point, Donnie does turn back into a helmet. Oh, my. Oh, that is so fucking great. That is amazing. All right, because Gambit did it. The wolf gets on his back and asks for belly rubs. <laughs> so Kuari obliges. Scratch, 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 scratch. <laughs> yeah, role playing. <laughs> Ori is just sitting here druid crafting a bunch of flowers. Yay, flowers. I love Making... flowers. Flower crowns. I used to have a crown. It was made of thorns, though. Not flowers. Oh, wait, it was roses. It was both. Hearing oh. that, she she makes one of roses to, and gives to him. Yeah, I, and he throws it on. Bleeding <laughs> profusely. <laughs> it's like, this, your, your beetle, he's big for your size. He's not a beetle, he's a centipede. A center beetle? That's like ten hundred beetles. <laughs> Look, regardless, there's problems in this train. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to go back to the next cart. Why? Well, there may have been something bad I left in there. Like what? Well, at which point you hear the sounds of burning. I learned the trick in this one town. <laughs> yes. It solves all my problems. <laughs> oh my god. You get a yes. round of applause for that one. Thank you. I really work hard in incorporating the ideas and themes that have become long-standing traditions in these. <laughs> so, so uh, just a little bit of backstory for this here. The burning he learned from Valios, because Valios got sick and tired of the mission going wrong. So he went and bought a shit ton of alpha's fire and oil and burnt down a warehouse. Oh and my ended goodness. up And ended up burning down the entire town. And killing hundreds of people. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Actions have consequences. Yes, they do. I wasn't paying attention to which direction the wind was blowing. <laughs> Better than finding those nails. <laughs> and that I don't wanna hear I don't wanna hear from you, Diffy, you and the innkeeper. Why you gotta hate on on Nibbler? <laughs> Nibbler's amazing. 
I'm gonna drop that mimic down the hole of no return. <laughs> love thy mimic, mimic. Uh, I'll love it, I'll love it right to an early grave. <laughs> oh, come on, you got excited. You got, you got excited when I had it as a pet, and then I named it over. I did, because I love Futurama, but that's beyond the point. <laughs> I keep it fed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and so does everybody else. <laughs> Probably in the tri-state area. <laughs> okay. In my defense about keeping it fed, I didn't think I was going to roll that high of a fucking charisma check to persuade it to eat those. <laughs> my thing was that you actually tried. You didn't, you were just like, yeah, that's right. It's like, you gonna roll for that? Yeah, I'll roll for that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but yeah, so that's where you guys are now. Uh, Catharsis uh, is like, yeah, oh, I may have started a fire in that car, which is a bad idea. Cause that's the only car that we can go into, except for the last car. But what if we ran really fast? Like, on like on the air? I don't think you can do that. Question. Yeah. How big is this fire that you? When I left it, why yeah. no? Why no bigger than a blaze? Now. He looks at his 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 wrist for no reason because you know clocks and watches do not exist <laughs> in this time. Yeah, I don't know now. You just hear a quack. Donnie, god damn it, yes, I know. I'm gonna do a perception check to see if I can hear a blazing fire. Gambit is gonna get bored and realize. Let's <laughs> say all the animals. All the animals would have noticed far before us. <laughs> I, I, well, I have no bonus to perception, so <laughs> let's see how well this goes. Oh. You, uh, you, 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 the only thing filling your, your nose right now is the blood that's currently clogging it from people exploding in your face. But Casper's gonna sit there, he's gonna plug one side with his thumb, he's gonna blow out, and then he's gonna repeat with the other one. Yeah, very nice. Get those chunks of, get those chunks of flesh out of the nose, nasal cavity real quick. <laughs> Gambit. Yeah, I, I can't smell anything burning. Puppy, I have so. a smell of blood and flesh stuck in my nose still. Personally, I don't smell anything ever. Huh? That sounds like a personal problem. Yeah, but I changed I changed it for my sixth sense smidgen. Okay. But it sounds like you created a bigger problem than what was there to begin with, so we should probably go fix that. Yeah, anybody know water? Got water? Fight I mean, fire? My, my, my wolf needs to go potty. Maybe you <laughs> could piss mm. it off. He's a big wolf. <laughs> the I wolf mean, looks at her like she's an idiot. Shut up. I, I have controlled flames. That? could possibly work. I also left something else in there and you just hear uh, a noise. I'm, I'm, I know I suck at these rolls, but I'm going to do a perception sound. On that yeah, noise. Can I roll one too to see if I could figure out what that noise was? Sure. <laughs> I... <laughs> Maybe it'll be better than his. I just need to stop doing perception checks. They're never going to be good. Well, here's the thing. The only way I could do worse than his is if I roll a natural. So. Don't challenge the dice gods. <laughs> My perception was a two. I'm sure you could do better. That's all I ever I have. have. 16 because I have a there plus we go. six to perception. I always just say, never challenge the dice gods. Michael knows very well why you don't do that. Oh, what's the kobold gonna do? Crit me? <laughs> Matter of fact, yes, it is. And the kobold walks up. Slides knife into your chest, max damage. And there goes the cleric. I just love it too, cause the description was he just comes up, puts his hand on your shoulder, slowly slides it into your chest, 
pulls it back out, laughs. All right, so 16 perception on that noise. Uh, it sounded like a howl of some kind, uh, but it was not, did not sound like it came from a regular dog or even a wolf. I was about to say, did it start a howling chain? It, it actually. This isn't Zootopia. It, it may have, actually. Roll a D100. <laughs> Rolling D100! I mean, wait, do I? Is that what this one is? Okay, do you have a D10 that has like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 on it? Realistically, yeah. you just need a D10. Roll that and then a D10 without the zeros on it. Uh, great. 10. Okay, so 10 on the one with the zeros. What'd you get on the one without the zeros? Uh, without the zeros is a 4. With so that'd be a 14. is a 90. Okay. Oh, with zeros is a 90? Yeah. So that would be a 94. Cool. That one always got to me because you can never get 100. Um, all zeros is 100. Yeah, that's that's the way it is, but the it, the math doesn't make good sense. Because you have the <laughs> tens. Well, because the basic ones go 10, 9, yeah, that messes with me. Well, if you roll a zero, like double zeros, and then anything but a zero, yeah. it's one through nine. Yeah. And then... All zeros is the 100, because you can't roll a zero on any other dice, so... Which is why I don't know why they included it. They should have just had a 100-sided die. No, it's... So there's a That's 94 what I have. make the howling chain? Yes. Yes. Which includes your wolf. Alright, so... I Here told you I'll take you potty later. I feel like I should RP as your animals, but I don't want to because I'm lazy. <laughs> I mean, the Slinky's just hanging out. That's the other thing the is like, <laughs> that's the other thing is like, you guys have your own thoughts and images of the animals in your head. I don't want to interfere with that. <laughs> It's like you decide what your animal's, you know, companion is. That's how it is with Donnie. Well, kind of. <laughs> yeah. Donnie, it's right. kind of different. So, <laughs> but Oriana's just gonna push through and go to the next, to the car where the flames and the noises are coming from. Alrighty, give me just a moment as I am looking for a picture. Is that actually. this way? It is gonna be the way he came from, so yeah, it'll be. Okay. Oh lord, well, she's gonna crazy. hang out here until you're ready. Alrighty. To signal the, the fire. I left the, the cart. There it is, okay. There is trouble. She needs to fix it. <laughs> you need to fix your files, boy. And as she walks past, she's going to say to the two that helped her with the exploding fools, you two are more than welcome to help. You were quite useful in that and what we just dealt with. You with the duck, you can do whatever you want since you don't want to solve your own problems. Quack. Damn it, Donnie. I am not a problem solver. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what she thinks. That sad. Why is she sad? <laughs> I'm so glad that you were using this dice for like everything. <laughs> <laughs> I used it for for random. I told you right. Like the first day I grabbed it, I was like really soft. And super. Yeah. And then I kept rolling. And then for like three rolls, it was angry. And then the last roll silly because I was laughing by that point. That's great. 
That was amazing. Yay! <laughs> so you can move easily into the new area. And then we get to see an old friend. Friend? I was gonna say, is she's not gonna move until I see where all the fire is. Yeah. Is it Don E instead of Donny? <laughs> that reminds me His evil brother. That. His yeah. evil brother is actually Danny Duck. Ah. Uh, He's actually the good should... brother. You should have said Donnie with an with an E, like I, uh, I hate, I Zombie. I know they they did that for a bunch of ones. They have like Kermit with the C and a bunch of other ones. That's why I didn't want to steal it. I'm like, no, it's been done too much. Can never be done too. Much. And it's and his brother's name is actually Danny Duck Vito, but <laughs> yeah. I was waiting oh for that. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh wait, these are that's why they're not gonna scale well. Well, let's get them scaled well, hopefully. Damn it, why you leave me? <laughs> there we go, better. That is a lot of not. But yeah. That's a lot of enemies. There are a good amount of those guys. Although I need to be more accurate with these real quick. And also just because they're all looking this way does not mean they're all looking this way. I can't really turn them yeah, around I that easily. That. Yeah. And yeah, that is kind of what you see through the flames as there is a big pile of flames in front of you. Where most of the room is on fire. Well, that side of the room. Yeah. <laughs>